If you recently moved into a home or apartment with a pre-installed wireless router, you'll need to follow a few steps before you can use your own third-party router. Don't worry though, it's not as hard as it sounds. But first, if you're new to the channel, we cover internet-related topics from tip videos like this to more in-depth router review videos. Subscribe to Broadband now to be the first to see more videos just like this. Using your own router requires bypassing the ISP's router through a setting known as bridge mode. Today, we'll be focusing on how to set a bridge mode on your Quantum Fiber Smart NID. However, if you have a router from Spectrum, Xfinity, or another ISP, there are many similarities when setting the router to bridge mode. First, find where the Smart NID is located and connect to the router. You'll want to use a laptop and connect directly to the Smart NID via an Ethernet cable. Then, type this in your browser and log in with your credentials, which you can find on a sticker on the Smart NID device. Once you're in, go to Advanced Setup in the sidebar, select WAN settings, and select WAN settings again. Under the ISP protocol setting, change it to Transparent Bridging. Change the VPI slash VACI setting from Tag 201 to Untagged. Once you're done, look for the Smart NID status light, and if it's white, that means you've done it. Now you can connect your third-party router to the Ethernet wall jack and set up your router as you normally would. Don't forget to like this video and let us know what other topics you'd like to see from us. Have questions? Drop us a comment. Finally, subscribe to Broadband now to stay up to date on all things internet.